Okay, so, when I went to Sedona, I, uh, I picked up a leaf. I picked up a leaf, <clears throat> and it was, uh, saturated. So I looked at it, and I noticed that it was, uh, if you look at it, I just picked this one up here, it's like the hugest leaf ever, right? Like prehistoric era type stuff. <clears throat> but, I don't know if you can actually see it. Alright, uh, well you can see the lines, but what else? I don't know, if I zoom in really, really far, uh, you can't really see it because this is dry. But when it's saturated, you can actually, like, look really, really closely, and you can see lines that look just like uh, Google Maps. If you go to Google Maps, and it's like got certain lines for the road, you zoom in, and you see the lines, and then you zoom in, and then the lines get smaller. Well, if you actually look at a leaf, if you look at a leaf, and when it's, it's got to be like saturated, it's got to be really wet to, in order to see like the lines very clearly. And I noticed when I looked at a, a wet leaf, uh, it looks just like, like exactly like the roads um, on a map, on, a, on like Google Maps or something like that. And I was like, hmm, that's really interesting. Uh, you know that show, uh, Da Vinci's Demons? Well, <clears throat> Well, it talks about um, the book of leaves, uh, like the leaves of time, uh, leafing through the pages of a book of life. Well, you know, when I look at the leaves and I see the roads are just like the roads that we actually go on, and I'm like, hmm, I kind of wonder if, like, the autumn season where the leaves fall, it's like literally little roads as if there's like a bigger structure that we're on and these are leaves these are huge leaves that we're actually driving on you know what I mean like the smaller picture the bigger picture because the lines are exactly the same as an actual map on an actual leaf but you can only really see it when the leaf is very saturated now I, I picked this up when it was uh, kinda misty one day and I was like yeah I should bring this in as a tool I set it down and I didn't really do anything with it and then I was cleaning the house just now and I looked at it, it's now dry and I, you know, I see see the cracks here you see the cracks you can see, you can actually feel, it's almost like braille you, you can feel like the terrain, it totally changes, it's not like flat and smooth it's now like, you know, mountains and, and uh, you know, hills and stuff that we drive on so what really made me interested in talking about this is the fact that Okay, we'll say the autumn season is really a bigger picture. So when it's autumn and it's really, really dry, okay, well, the leaf does this. So, you know, and we see in the news that, like, we're getting sinkholes, you know, like some of the holes on here. There's, there's like, little holes um, also around. I don't know if you can see some of these. It's, like, little holes in there. Uh, there are cracked lines on here, and there's... There's, uh, there's rows that literally just, like, crumble. Bridges keep, like, you know, snapping from pressure. And, uh, you know, contours are changing. So, I'm thinking there's probably a connection to that. And I, I thought that was really interesting that you can literally go into nature and pick up something as simple as a leaf. And I know that Da Vinci, uh, according to his backstory, he was really interested in, uh, the systems of the body and you know simple systems and looking at one simple item and seeing you know I mean I don't I didn't do a whole lot of research on it but what I think intuitively is that that was the big picture is the fact that the smaller things really do replicate the big system uh, and the smaller things are here to show us how the big system works okay like for instance um, the cosmos. Uh, we see a lot, you know, I talked about this in the last video, about how the structures, you know, there's a lot of human structures in there. And, you know, I, I find it really comedic about the, the fact that we poop, <laughs> the fact that we have excrement. And, uh, you know, we as human, well, we like release. We like release. We like, uh, I know I like to sneeze. I like the buildup. 
and I like the fact that there is an actual release, and then I usually get like a like a shiver all over my body, and it feels good to me. Uh, and I think it's also really funny that when you sneeze, or when you don't sneeze, like when you try to sneeze and you can't sneeze, and then it's like you get all congested and you feel almost like irritated. And it kind of reminds me of like, you know, really close to an orgasm and it just doesn't happen. And then you feel kind of irritated. So it's like kind of the same system. It's just experienced up here and, you know, not somewhere else. And uh, I was kind of, I've always wondered about the things that we think are really, really dirty, <laughs> like pooping. And uh, even though it's something that people enjoy, people enjoy release, like people feel cleaner after that happens, um, I always think about how that's replicated in the bigger system. And I think I talked about it in the last video about the black hole being a, being like a sphincter in the body of the cosmos. And I'm wondering if we're actually like an excrement, <laughs> like a compound element that's literally going through uh, that sphincter, like, we're getting pooped out <laughs> by the cosmos, um, and, you know, it's like, you go through these intestines, and eventually it gets kind of, like, smaller and smaller, and it's like, people are experiencing this pressure in different frequency, and I'm, I'm wondering if that's what we're experiencing right now, is we're literally getting shat out <laughs> by, by a cosmological, uh, sphinx, a cosmological sphincter, um, so, you know, I don't have a whole lot to share on that, but I just thought that was really interesting about, um, you know, about these, these smaller things that show us the bigger thing. Um, yeah. And also, another thought, I was thinking about uh, the sun and the moon and the earth, and I was like, hmm. And I know that Da Vinci, like, really focused, well, I don't know if he really focused on this a lot, but what I remember about it is uh, the female organs. Um, the ovaries, and then, you know, the uterus, and, like, I always think about, like, maybe the sun is here, and the moon is here, and then, like, the earth is, like, the one egg that's, like, like plucked out, and it comes, comes down, so maybe it's, like, the systems are very, very similar on the bigger grand scale, so maybe it's kind of, like, you know, the, you know, like, the, the tetrad moons, the, the blood moons, like, I mean, what if that's, just a bigger picture of like a period or something like that because it is a moon and women have their periods like you know every 28 days or every 30 days whatever it is and the moon you know it's like a full moon every 28 days every 30 days and you know I'm not saying like the bigger structure is actually a human being but what I'm saying is that you know the smaller picture does describe the bigger picture and by learning how the smaller picture works, we actually understand what we're experiencing on a much larger level. So instead of like panicking about, um, you know, what's happening and saying, well, I don't understand what's happening and I'm really scared and it doesn't make sense and, you know, why is this happening to me? It's kind of like, well, I mean, it's a cycle. I mean, it's totally a cycle. Like, this is what we all go through. Uh, men and women alike. I mean, we all experience different hormonal shifts and we all experience puberty and uh, you know, birth and, and, and transformation and all of that, and, you know, maybe we're just going through that system, uh, and maybe our planet is just like an ovary or a sperm or, I mean, you know, maybe, I mean, I, I really don't have all the answers, but I think it's kind of fun to think about, because there's definitely something about that, and just by looking at a leaf, I, I found out, you know, something that replicated a much larger structure, like, to a T. And, you know, when they talk about Book of Leaves, I'm like, hmm, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So, I know this video isn't very long, but I just wanted to share that right away because I felt it in the moment. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.